Today, I put my socks on and Toby had a haircut. That's totally irrelevant, but who cares? It's the weekly news. Other truly wonderful and incredible things happened this week. Molstam asked an important question. Carnalizer survived the dentist. And Jeb let the word slip about an important day. Show with the on. We've seen fantasy, space and plasticky packs come out for the Minecraft Xbox, now it's time for an ultra modern pack. The city texture pack is now out, for mere small amounts of your petty earth cash, and is great if you want to build that high rise block of flats inside your TV. Featuring creepers and tuxes and many crisp, clean textures, this city pack joins the growing ranks of the Xbox content. 4J Studios has posted a video using this pack, featuring a block by block esque build of a future waterfront of Dundee, Scotland. What will you build with it? Go get it and find out. Last week we talked about the work that Block by Block are doing in Haiti, exploring ways to work with the community and with Minecraft to develop the local infrastructure. Well, Fire UK, those bastions of building, have just completed a huge model of the La Case area to help them in community meetings. The project is still undergoing, but we're so excited to see the work that Minecraft and Block by Block are doing to help. We'll leave a link to the pictures down below. It's a resource pack we have for your delectation today and it's a corker. The Chroma Hills pack by Minecraft forums user CycloneSJS adds a splash of RPG colour to your Minecraft world, although with a cheerful cartoon undertone. With 128x and 64x versions and available for both 1.6 and 1.7, there's a type of Chroma Hills for everybody. It's not a totally up to date pack, some stained glass has yet to be coloured, but you'll hardly notice among all the awesome textures. I'm a big fan of the interfaces, I think they are brilliantly done. There are times when it looks a little bit too realistic, but that can be forgiven for an RPG resource pack. We'll leave a link below to get it for yourself. Now, a few words about our sponsor, Abrams Books, publisher of the latest book in the best-selling Origami Yoda series entitled Princess Label Maker to the Rescue, from the imaginative mind of author Tom Angleberger. Head over to the Origami Rebellion website, origamiyoda.com, to learn how to fold the papery characters yourselves and submit photos to become a super folder. You can also find the new Princess Label Maker book on sale now wherever books are sold and see our links below for more. Snapshot 14W10 has dropped with an A and a B version for bug fixing measures. As we reported last week, a lot of the behind the scenes API and name changing groundworks have been put in, but we won't actually see it enabled until well into the release of 1.8 in order to better help servers as they are updated. Aside from this, many bug fixes can be found on the Minecraft Wiki changelog, and several changes that will aid map makers. In a similar vein of the snapshot stuff this week, Jeb tweeted that Minecraft PC 1.7.6 will be out this month, but 1.8's release is still unknown, best guess, May. The Pocket Edition falls into the same time bracket as 1.8. In terms of anything related to the consoles, that's pretty much wrapped up in bureaucracy and other companies, so who knows. Meanwhile, Dinnerbone is excited by the prospect of a better attribute system, rarer weapons that will give us incentive to leave our positions of safety, and developing an even more rewarding fishing system. There is much to look forward to. Nowadays, you can see Minecraft on your PC, on your phone, or on your games consoles. Well, it looks like it won't be long until you can see it on the big screen as well, with news this week that Warner Brothers have acquired the movie rights from Mojang. There's not a lot known about the project yet, but the open-worldedness of Minecraft offers an awful lot of scope for adventures, don't you think? We'll keep you posted as more transpires. Well, now that the news of the weeks is all inside your ears, Toby's going to get his hair cut. Wait, did he do that already? I'm so confused. If you've not had your fill of MC Spotlights, here's a brace of videos to titillate you, one telling you all about Iron Golem uses, and the other is a look at last week's news. The subscribe button is still there, it's clickable, it's welcoming. Go on, do it. We'll be around on Twitter throughout the week, and we'll see you on next week's newsy video. Bye!